So I think one of the things that's very underestimated, at least by me, has been planning. Uh, it's a pretty easy concept that I think I always took for granted or didn't appreciate. And I want to give you an example how planning can be used to effectively solve some problems. So uh, several months ago, uh, I was sitting down with Josh, our New Republic CEO, and we had decided as a company that we were going to go forward with a set of particular styles that we felt like we needed to stand by and really make a statement that we are known for these styles. And other styles that were not core at this moment, we would revisit later, but we wouldn't continue caring right now. And that uh, presented a challenge. It was that we were stuck with a decent amount of inventory. And I was like, what are we going to do? We still have quite a bit of inventory of these products that we may not revisit for another year or longer in some cases or ever. And he's like, well, I'd like to pull them all off the site. And I was like, okay. That's interesting because you need to sell them down. And he's like, I'd like to pull them off the site and I'd like to uh, bring them back in the holidays right before Black Friday and do it as a warehouse sale, as a way to reward our best customers so they can take advantage of stuff they bought in the past, stuff they wanted to try, but at a discounted price. And I was like, okay. It's a lot of inventory, puts a lot of pressure, but let's see what happens. Fast forward a few months, uh, we actually launched that sale today. And uh, they had planned for the last, I don't know, call it a month or two, uh, creating a section of the site that was deemed the warehouse sale. They created content showing why these are warehouse sale items. Some were everyone, some were um, items that may have been damaged and they clearly created a bunch of content on what to expect. And then there was some stuff that were styles that we just wanted to move through. So we did a pretty aggressive discount. Uh, they created a, a beautiful flyer that mimicked a kind of yard sale that you would see in your neighborhood. Uh, Early in the morning, an email went out, no advertising spend, zero social media push because uh, he felt it was important to reward the people on the email list, on the, the best customers. And we ended up having a monster day, one of the biggest days ever in New Republic history. And it's something that I can appreciate now that we see the result that I wouldn't have done uh, three months ago if someone like Josh wasn't here. Uh, I don't think I would have had the patience to wait. And I would have pressed the panic button and said, I want all this stuff sold now. And I don't want to deal with this come the holidays. I want the cash now. And I probably would have sold some at even a lower price Maybe I would have been even more aggressive. I would have advertised. I would have made it a big deal. But I may have yielded a worse result. And I think there's something to be said about taking your time, properly planning, and then executing an effort. And this was an example where I don't think I would have done this, yet it yielded the best result for us and probably the best experience for the customer. And those are things that are often overlooked when you're making changes in your business. You're like, we got to get rid of this. We have to do this. And you press panic and you do stuff not well thought through. And recently this year, I stepped back on some of these initiatives even uh, on the Menlo Club side, Tyrell, who runs our growth, he took a 
approach of like, I need proper time to plan our content, create the right variations, and then execute these holidays. And that yielded some of the best results we've seen in a long time. And I think I've now grown this deep appreciation of proper planning, well thought through executed campaigns. I think in the digital age, we feel like we can change on a dime. We can move fast. You can, but it doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do. I think if you plan and think through things properly, you don't necessarily, or you won't put yourself in a position where you have to change on a dime. And I always was, let's always be quick and nimble on these topics. And recently I was proven wrong that we haven't had to be quick and nimble. Instead, we've had the luxury of being well thought through, take our time, be patient, and Every time we've done that, we've actually had success. So that's really important to me that I was proven wrong, that you can actually really think through these things, create the right moments, create the right content, and have success. And this holiday sale that we just launched, or this warehouse sale, was a great example of that. And just a lesson I wanted to share, I think it's important that We do take our time to think about these things. Everybody knows that Black Friday is coming every year. Christmas is coming every year. If you're in a mad rush during this time of the year, you're doing something wrong. You should have had all these things thought through months in advance. If you're in the flower business or candy business, Valentine's Day, Christmas, these are obvious holidays. So really think about your calendar as a business and how, where are those moments that you should be well prepared so that you can actually take advantage of it and not playing catch up. So good luck.